All right, what's up? It's another episode of Sunday Sema. It is April 7th, and we are in chapter 2, The Righteousness of the Emperor out of Methods of the Sema. We're on verse 12 this Sunday. In ancient times, the state did not interfere with military affairs, and the military did not interfere with state affairs. If the military interfered with the state, then the people's virtue would be wasted. If the state interfered with the military, then the people's virtue would be weak. In this way, in state affairs, language was cultured and warm in tone. In court, one was humble out of respect and cultivated oneself to serve others. One did not come unless summoned, nor speak unless questioned. It was difficult to move forward, but easy to withdraw. In the military sphere, one was unyielding and stood one's ground. When in formation, one was compliant and got results. In time of crisis, they need not be submissive. Those in armor need not pay respect. Chariots need not follow the rights of the towel, and those on the city walls need not scurry. In this way, societal norms and military methods are like outside and inside. The arts and the military are like left and right. So it's saying to me, right, this is the yin and the yang all in one verse. The arts and the military are like left and right, outside and inside, societal norms and military methods. They complement each other, they need each other, but they can't fully encompass each other. There needs to be a clear division. And I think when a society does that, it prospers. Okay, April 7th out of the Daily Stoic. Expect to change your opinions. Book by Ryan Holiday and Stephen Hansel. Expect to change your opinions. <clears throat> there are two things that must be rooted out in human beings. Arrogant opinion and mistrust. Arrogant opinion expects that there is nothing further needed. And mistrust assumes that under the torrent of circumstance, there can be no happiness. Tychicus Discourses 3.14.8 How often do we begin some project certain we know exactly how it will go? How often do we meet people and think we know exactly who and what they are? And how often are these assumptions proved to be completely and utterly wrong? This is why we must fight our biases and preconceptions, because they are a liability. Ask yourself, what haven't I considered? Why is this thing the way that it is? Am I part of the problem here or the solution? Could I be wrong here? Be doubly careful to honor what you do not know, and then set that against the knowledge you actually have. Remember, if there is one core teaching at the heart of this philosophy, it's that we're not as smart as, and as wise as we'd like to think we are. If we ever do want to become wise, it, becomes, it comes from the questioning and from the humility, not as many would like to think, from certainty, mistrust, and arrogance. Okay, this is really good. So, two things. First, the middle paragraph why we must fight our biases and preconceptions. Um, and then you, you're saying, like, what haven't I considered? Am I part of the problem here or the solution? Can I be wrong here? Be doubly careful to honor what you do not know and then set that against the knowledge you actually have. Reminds me just like the verse we read out of me uh, Methods of the Sema. Because the yin and the yang, the left and the right, the outside and the inside. You have to, if you're inside, if you're inside the argument, you have to step outside and look in against yourself you have to place yourself like we do so many times in the enemy's shoes in the art of war and is the enemy in our shoes right like so it's all about that balance that perspective okay and so the whole theme of this though is we're not as smart and wise as we'd like to think we are i was just probably today taking my recycling thinking that life is so much easier when you admit that you're not as smart as you need to be you don't have to keep up with joneses anymore you don't have to play the rat race you can just accept things and see things for how they are and that means that if you aren't as smart as you portray yourself out to be and you accept that you're just average or above average or below average or wherever you're at then it's so much easier to be humble and say you're wrong when you're wrong and that allows us to course correct much quicker.